Good morning, National Dayers! It's Mrs. Erickson. Today is Friday, January 20th. It is the 20th day of the year. There are 345 days left. Happy National Penguin Day! National Penguin Day on January 20th gives us a chance to show that we care. We love penguins for lots of reasons. They walk around in tuxedos, they have a cute waddle, and they're unique. While this day celebrates the penguins, it's also time to think about saving them. Many penguin colonies have been lost to climate change and it's estimated that half the population of emperor penguins will vanish by the end of this century. We can start to help these endangered creatures by focusing on environmental issues. Did you know there are 17 species of penguins and all of them live in the southern hemisphere? The penguin species with the highest population is the macaroni penguin with 11 million pairs. The Gen 2 penguin is the fastest swimmer, reaching speeds of up to 22 miles an hour. An average penguin will spend up to 75% of its life in the water. Whether it's watching a documentary or seeing them for real, we're fascinated with penguins. Today is also Take a Walk Outside Day, National DJ Day, National Cheese Lovers Day, and Camcorder Day. Okay, National Dayers, today we're going to make a pop-up penguin. Gather the following supplies. You'll need paper in black, orange, and white, glue, scissors, and googly eyes. All right, let's get started. The first thing you're gonna do is you're going to draw the penguin parts onto your paper. So on your black paper, you're going to draw a football shape, leaving both ends open. And on one side, you're going to put a rounded end for his head. And on the other end, you're just gonna make it a straight line. And then you're gonna draw two wings, which would be like a long oval with a flat end at one side, and then cut those out. Out of the orange paper, you're going to want to make your flipper, which is going to be like a triangle with a flat top, and then the little toes at the bottom, and then a beak, which is just like a rounded triangle, and cut those out. And you're gonna take one inch strips of the white paper and you're going to glue them perpendicular. So one facing up and one facing to the side. And then you're gonna fold the paper strip back over the other strip and then fold it back over and then fold it back over. And what that's gonna make for you is an accordion fold, which is going to actually be the belly of the penguin. Next, you're going to glue your wings onto the body, up by the head, and then you're gonna glue your feet down there at the bottom at that flat end. Take your accordion folded paper and you're gonna glue one end of it halfway on the body and halfway on the orange feet. And then you're going to glue the other end just underneath the head. And you'll do that by folding the body over towards you and then gluing it so it creates the belly of the penguin. And then on the outside of the head now, you can fold it down a little bit. You're gonna glue the googly eyes and the beak. And you have just made the cutest, bouncy, wobbly penguin. Well done, National Dayers. All right, National Dayers. <laughs> penguin Commando coming at ya. You knew it was gonna happen, right? It's Penguin Day. What else am I supposed to do with him? I had to dress him up like a penguin. And as long as he ha oh, you got your hat off. Good job. All right, National Dayers, go to your local library, learn a little bit about penguins. If you have time, go to the zoo. They're pretty adorable, aren't they? See, we're so adorable. Keep smiling. Have a fabulous Friday, an amazing weekend, and we will see you next week. Say bye. 
never says why. It's time for super spectacular shout outs. Shout outs today start us off with Mr. H and everyone in his sixth grade class at Bardeen Elementary School in Salinas, California. Next up is S. Torres, Shannon F., Reagan, and Ashley's class, the E2 and E3 elementary grade band at Sherwin Autism Center in Kansas City, Missouri. Next up is Mrs. Hunter and Ms. Holly and everyone in the 8th through 10th grade community-based instruction program at Dawson County Junior High School in Dawsonville, Georgia. Next up is Ms. Taylor and everyone in the special education program at Murray Ridge School in Elyria, Ohio. And circling back, we also have Joe, Sandy, Sharon, and Christina, and all of the super seniors at Murray Ridge School in Elyria, Ohio. And our last shout out today goes out to Ms. Helen and everyone in the special needs grades 9 through 12 program at Danforth CTI in Toronto, Ontario, Canada. Thank you so much for watching and thank you for your support. I hope you loved your shout out. Teachers, if you'd like to get your class a shout out, just complete the Google form. The link can be found below this video in the description. And here it is, our updated super spectacular shout out map.